extinction is set in Cape Opway, which is on the southwest coastline of Victoria. And the play's about a man who um, is, one wet, windy night, drives down to Cape Opway to um, see his parents, to tell them that he's getting a divorce, and he hits an animal. And the animal's a tiger quoll, and the tiger quoll is, was once in the 50s quite a populous uh, species, but now is virtually extinct. Um, and he takes it to a wildlife centre and he and a zoologist, an American zoologist, work to save the tiger quoll's life. And everything about the place springs from what happens in that room. What I usually do with the theatre, no matter how severe and serious it is, I always look for light moments and highlight those. For me, theatre has always been a place where you go to be inspired to think, to analyse your world, to be faced with new concepts, new questions about the place that you live in. And this is a play that definitely does that. It asks those questions. And so theatre goers will be able to come with an open mind. And even if they come with a closed mind, Hopefully they'll, they'll be entertained enormously by the drama of the play, uh, but at the same time walk away with a lot of issues to discuss. I wanted to write something that was quite complex because of the moral and ethical thicket really uh, that surrounds a lot of environmental issues. It's fantastic stuff for drama. The sorts of issues about how compromised we all can be about corruption, about where money comes from for research projects. It's not often that, you know, I, I get a play on my desk and I'm riveted by the subject matter. It's beautifully written. The characters are so three-dimensional and so alive. And I think the relationships they get into are so real. So I think your audiences are going to be riveted by this production because it's such an amazing story. Mm -hmm.